Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel once again. Well, today is not about me or a video that I've done. This is about another content creator by my good friend, the Sarcastic Barman. He's doing a response video to a guy called Barney or Barnabas or something like that that talks about rainbow portals and domes within domes and multiple suns and all that kind of crazy stuff. Um, so, but before you watch it, hang on, don't press that button to fast forward yet. Listen to what I'm going to say. If you're offended by the F-bomb, there's a lot of swearing in this. Um, so fair warning, if you end up watching it and you're offended, tough, because I've given you fair warning. So anyway, that's enough me chatting and blabbering on. I'll let the sarcastic bomb take it away. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I am the Sarcastic Barman and today is part two of three of looking at Barnabas Nagy. This is also recording number four of this intro because every time I get to this point something beeps whether it be the phone, Discord because I forgot to close it, or the phone a fucking again. Taking the piss now. But anyway, let's crack on with the video. It's the first time for me watching it as well as probably most of you and we'll see the level of crazy stupidity and see if it beats the last one where my head fucking exploded. Right, without further ado, let's crack on. What if I told you that there are multiple suns and multiple domes on this flat earth? And even the rainbows show how local the sun is. Well, that depends, Mr. Nagy. If it's stupid photos where you show that you don't know how to photo, then I'm just going to fucking laugh at you. If it's actual evidence, I will be fucking surprised. I'm going for the stupid photos that show you don't know how to photo. Here's a great video from the channel called Truth. As I showed you this earlier, the sun is very local, in fact, it is in the clouds. You can clearly see that it is not million miles away, like NASA tries to tell us. All of that is lies. Oh look, someone who doesn't know how to fucking photo and how fucking light works. Fuck's sake, it's gonna be a long fucking day, isn't it? Take very powerful torch, as powerful as you can get. Take piece of paper, put a piece of paper in front of torch. It will look as if the paper is actually behind the torch because of how the light is going to be shining through it. Then take a picture of this said event. It will look even worse. Fuck's sake. One of the images that we are often presented with is something like this. So we have the flat earth and then we have the dome, the sky and all the luminaries. And although I think this is true, what most people don't talk about is the local domes. Local domes. Okay. So are these local domes touching the ground? Are they just floating above the sky? This leaves more fucking questions now and it sounds fucking stupid. So I think we have a global dome, so-called global, there's no globe obviously, but like one whole dome for the whole flat earth, but I think that there are smaller local domes as well and smaller local suns. So we have multiple suns for multiple domes, but also a main dome. Does the main dome still have a sun or does each local sun just be in the local dome and there's no main sun? And can I look from one dome to another and see multiple suns? This, this is just getting fucking out of hand, really. Oh, God, we're going to need some rum. We're going to need lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fucking rum. And I think this sentiment comes from the Christian mindset because when I was a Christian, I read the Bible verses where, you know, God created the dome. You read the Bible verse where God created a dome, thought it was bollocks, stop being a Christian. Is, it, is that the answer? I really hope that's the answer because, uh, oh, God help me. <laughs> and the flat earth and he then also created the rainbow for Noah, right? As some kind of um, a treaty. And so... The rainbow was to me something that signified, symbolized, or actually showed the real dome. Right, got it. The rainbow signifies your lack of understanding about how light works in regards to prisons, raindrops, and how it splits into the multiple colors and things like that. Got you, okay. And I never thought into that um, until recently when I dropped Christianity for good. And then I realized actually when I started to use my rational brain that, you know, the rainbow is not as big as the dome, right? The earth is so big and yet we see 
that one part of the rainbow starts here at the one end of the town and the other end of the rainbow ends at the other end of the town. So clearly that is not the full spectrum of the whole dome, right? Now, I don't think you can use the words rational brain, flat earth or dome in the same sentence unless the first bit is I used my rational brain and decided there was no flat earth, dome or any of that crap. Unfortunately, you're not, so I don't think you have the rational brain there, to be fair, sir. And that's when I started to realize that rainbows are probably showing local domes. And so this local dome syndrome kind of uh, led me to investigate the electromagnetic properties of the dome. And I think the dome is electromagnetic just as the whole big dome is electromagnetic the local small domes are also electromagnetic right i need to clarify this in my brain so the domes are electromagnetic and the rainbows i'm guessing you think have nothing to do with water and prisms and splitting of light or I, i'm very confused by this already so it just sounds like bollocks to me and what makes these electromagnetic domes and why can we see through them to other areas what's the boundaries of these electromagnetic domes and i have a feeling you're not going to address any of these fucking facts are you or points as i should say oh god on this picture we can also see that the rainbow just starts right here in the middle of the village and ends you know, and the other town. On this picture, we can clearly see the beginning and the end of the rainbow. And again, get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Get on with it. it just shows a local rainbow. And obviously, we can find rainbows even smaller areas, such as waterfalls, where we can clearly see the beginning and the end of the rainbow. Again, this is obviously not the big dome here's a nice picture that actually shows the beginning of the town where the electromagnetic dome starts now here i want to insert another experience i had oh god please don't you've, you've literally just shown that the rainbows are caused by the water with it being next to the fucking waterfall there's no electromagnetic dome there or anything is there there's nothing to show oh fuck's sake fuck's sake I need alcohol for this Oh, you, you're just going to talk fucking bollocks through all of this, aren't you? Seriously, Barnabas, get some fucking... Get something that we can sort of go, Oh yes, rather than just, here's a picture of a fucking rainbow. It's as bad as the picture of the windows. Oh, windows! Now it's, ah, rainbows! Rainbows! Oh. For quite some time, is that when you go from one area to another, you experience that there is a difference. A different feeling you pass a certain area and it just has a different vibe and I have this right here where I live from the town from the town center where I cycle to where I am which is at the end of the town there's a crossroad which I pass and then I feel this is different this is home I already feel it it's not like this dark it's not like this dark depressive state and I think you actually just said but it was it's your body getting the feeling of we're almost home we're at our peaceful location we're at where we feel relaxed we're no longer in the middle of the town or city whatever you live in and where it's busy and there's people and there's noise you go into a more relaxed area where your body feels safer oh for god's sake like the center has i can breathe so you can experience this within one town and experience it between towns as well every town has a different vibe right and back then when I was a Christian, I explained it with some kind of spiritual fortresses. And although there could be evil entities that control a town and they control it differently, I think there are also electromagnetic properties to this. Well, I was going to skip until he came up with something a bit more intelligent. But fuck my life, I had to leave that in. So, spiritual fortresses and demons and bad angel things or whatever, fuck's sake. Oh, nothing quantifiable, nothing measurable, just your feelings and things and uh, god damn it Barnabas. Another picture I wanted to show you where the rainbow starts at a house and it looks like an old house, we could even call it the castle, I'm not sure. But what I wanted to point out here is that perhaps this is showing us why some of these castles, some of these buildings 
are haunted because I believe that the two edges of the rainbow are probably portals. Portals to different dimensions. You know, we hear people disappearing on this earth. Yes, rainbows are portals. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're just spouting words to try and make it seem like, oh yes, we, what, what a mentalness can we come out with now? Portals are rainbows! I can make a rainbow in my fucking kitchen, for fuck's sake. Oh, I know, that, it's not a castle. It's not even a mock castle. There's no matriculations, there's no battlements, there's nothing. Fuck's sake, move on. Please move on to something else. And shortly after I realised that the rainbow showed a local sun, and the local dome, I also had one of the most bizarre experiences right here where I live. I saw two sunsets. One sunset was on the west as usual, but the other sunset was on the east. And I was like, what the fuck? And I mean, this was real. I have video proof for that, but I'm not going to show the video here because it shows my local area. Isn't that convenient? I have video proof, but I'm not going to show the video proof because it shows my local area. Ah, oh, that's convenient. So... Do you have proof? I don't think you do. And it'd be amazing if you were the only person in your entire area to see this, and the only person in your entire area to take a picture or a video of this, considering how many people have phones with fucking cameras in them. Because what I was just seeing on the east was the other local sun from the other local dome. And it was not just me. Here's another video that I would like to show you. This was in the UK and someone took this footage right there you can see the sunset and here on the other side you can see the sunset right there as well or you can see a sunset and a moon rise uh, it doesn't happen often but if the moon happens to be rising at the same time the sun is setting and it happens to be a full moon day you will get that effect uh, it's, it's like you don't even do any sort of reading of fucking books and science or fucking anything Oh, if, if that video had carried on, you would have continued to see the sun setting and the moon fucking rising. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm losing faith in you, Barnabas. I hope for something decent. Once you said there was a video that somebody else, I was like, woo! But no, just absolutely not. Okay, so I'm not talking bullshit here. This is happening not just in Hungary. It also happens in the UK and other places as well. No, it's bollocks. You've, you've shown us bollocks all. We're going to skip forward and see if you've got anything that isn't fucking bollocks. Or isn't a picture of you uh, getting rather excited over a fucking rainbow. Not only that, we can also see a double sun phenomena. Which is on the same side there are two suns. Let's have a look at this. So we can clearly see that this is the local sun from this perspective. And this other sun is from the other local sun. Just obviously it is smaller. And there we go, we have double sun as well. Yeah, nothing to do with possibly the clouds and tricks of the light or anything like that. I did wonder if it could possibly be the moon, but based on where the sun is for the moon, I'm not too sure. I'd need an exact date to be able to check where the moon was. Was there a sort of eclipse somewhere on Earth at that day? Would the moon be in the position to give that sort of reflection back from the Earth, reflecting the light that way? But then it's a bit orangey, so unsure. But, fair play, at least you found something better than the fucking last video. Oh, and again, I mentioned this before, but obviously this is related to the local sun as well, and to the local dome. Which is, there is this sun halo, or sun rainbow, or sunbo, as someone called it. So we can clearly see that this is a local system. The local dome is shown by this reflection. It's interesting that they call this phenomena the sun dog. Obviously the dog backwards is God, which is the warden. So I think that's why they called it sun dog. And again, we can clearly see here the three suns basically. Look at that, it shows the local dome and probably the two other local suns as well. Fuck's sake, sun dogs are well explained phenomenons of light and how it can be trickery on your eye, cameras and all that shit. And then you're saying, look, we can see two other suns, so that makes three suns to these things. Why can't I see those suns all the time? Because I can see light coming from the other dome, but I can't see the sun. Um, this, this, this thing has more holes in it than fucking my socks. One of the things that I was never able to answer 
to questions about the flat earth is that why the sun is not getting smaller when it goes down the horizon because we are told that it is all perspective and that's why it goes down but no because the sun is quite big when it goes down and it looks like it just disappears so in this footage for instance we are going towards the sun and yet it doesn't become bigger right so the sun is really just a projection it seems like to me and it's resolved through this um, local barrier, the local dome. On this footage though, we are going away from the sun and yet it doesn't become smaller. Wherever the sun is, it's the same size basically. Well, at least he knows he's got problems with the flat earth model and that being the fucking sun not changing its size as it gets away from you, comes closer to you and all that jazz doesn't look like it's speeding up, slowing down, anything like that. That's because the sun's fucking, 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 fucking far away and really fucking large. Oh, and as for it being a fucking projection on the fucking electromagnetic domey thing, that's just fucking retarded. Oh, God's sake. And obviously it doesn't make sense with the current flat earth model because really the sun should become smaller at the edge and should disappear completely when it is becoming smaller and smaller. But this is not what we see. Nope, because the flat earth doesn't have a model, or at least not a fucking working one. And yes, you're still right on the perspective, the sun should be shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and then disappear. Not slowly going below the horizon and disappearing bottom up. That's just... Oh. You know there's this problem, you know it doesn't work, and now you're making up fucking mini domes inside the domes, so there, there is, it works for you. Not that it could be fucking round. Fuck. And so I believe we have local domes and local suns. I want to show you a couple of movies that show the local dome. Here's a classic one, The Truman Show, which is The Man of the True Man. Here's a clip from the Hunger Games, again we can see the dome and if you look at it, it looks like an electromagnetic dome. Now what I also want to show you is Hillary Clinton's speech from Fox News where she actually talks about the glass ceiling which is the dome and how there are cracks in it. Here's another clip from Net Varied where we can see that something just fell down from the sky and everyone stops on the motorway. And here's another weird phenomena. Around the world people find these weird balls falling down from the sky. Here's one we can see the ball right there and these look like metal balls and they just create a small crater and they look like this. Here's another one, there's another one. It's all over the world and these metal balls just keep falling down from the sky. So I think these are probably stars, you know the fake stars. Here's even a captured picture when it was falling down from the sky and here's when they found it. Oh my good god, so we got The Truman Show, which was a TV movie which you think is hinting at the dome. Uh, it's also a program where they say the dome is one of the few things that can be seen from space, like the Great Wall of China. Not that we can see the Great Wall of China from space. Then you've got the Hunger Games with arenas. And, oh, you just showed your lack of knowledge on that. I cut out a lot of these clips. He goes on for fucking ages. And then Hillary Clinton talking about the glass ceiling. Yes, the glass ceiling for women on how far they can go up in the world and how far they can progress. Uh, then your motorway one, CBA looking into that because the last three were bollocks, but that does look quite interesting at least. And then you're seeing these space debris falling from the sky. And you're showing, look, here's the picture of it falling from space with its big fire trail behind it. But then when it hits the ground, it's not actually leaving any sort of crater. So was it not really falling? Was it not, not moving quickly? Because by the look of it, I could drop that from about three foot up and it'd leave a fucking bigger crater. So we're calling bollocks on that as well. Basically, Mr. Nagy, I'm calling bollocks on this entire fucking video, your entire fucking hypothesis on multiple domes, because all you've shown is fucking balls. Oh, literally fucking balls at one point. Oh, we're going to leave the video there because this is just bollocks. And I've got another one of your videos I want to look at, and I swear to God, there better be something more substantial in it than, look at this, I found this on YouTube, it must be true. Ooh, good God. Anyway, I am the Sarcastic Palman. I hope you enjoyed that. I fucking didn't. Christ. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, leave a comment down below on why you didn't enjoy it. If you did, leave me a comment why you did. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all the normal jazz. If you're enjoying my shit, feel free, buy a hoodie. Hopefully mine will arrive soon. I'm really looking forward to trying one on. Uh, apart from that, 
I hope to see you all very soon. Good night. Hang on before you go anywhere. Link to the Sarcastic Barman's channel is in the description below. Link to the original video is also below. So go to his channel, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Also like the video and comment on the video. So do that now.